hey guys welcome back to another tutorial in this tutorial we are adding coins and score window to our screen so let's get it started first of all what we have to do select our robot and in the inspector uh, remove rigid body and also remove capsule collider now add a component called character collider collector controller ok now it's done now open as we have uh, created a script file character movement so just open the script file and add a little bit of the code in the script file so let me write the code first is private character controller controller okay. now in the start controller equals to get component Correct the controller. Okay, and uh, in the void up update, uh, we have to write correct controller dot and move bracket vector three dot forward into time dot delta time. Why we are using this? Uh, we correct we character controller. We are just uh, making our character. So for that uh, we don't we don't have to use the capsule collider because capsule collider is for this static object. But our character is a dynamic object. So for that we have to choose the character co controller. And in the void start we are taking the coordinates of the character controller. And in the void update. Uh, we are moving our character in the forward direction so that it can collect the coins okay so this code is done and here time dot delta time uh, this means that we are updating a frame per second so that's why we are using this time dot delta time now just save this go back to unity now what we have to do we have to create coin so to create a coin in the hierarchy window just right click select a cylinder uh, make its exposition zero and uh, a little bit to move it forward. Okay. Now in the scale, give it a scale of zero point zero two. Okay. Now what we to do? Just to select the scale tool, and scale it a little bit. Okay, that's it. Now move tool, and then uh, in the rotation give it a rotation of 90 degree here our coin is ready uh, the basic structure of coin is ready now move it a little bit ok that's done now uh, we have to apply a material means the color of a coin that is golden yellowish so for that you have to create a material so to create a material in the project right click and then create then material uh, give it a name coin color now uh, our material has been created so just drag it and drop it on our coin now uh, to change the color of the coin in the inspector window here in the main map albedo uh, choose the color so we are just giving it a golden yellowish color ok that should be fine ok uh, now our coin is ready now we have to add a script to our character so that it can collect the coin <coughs> so uh, i have already created the script i am just uh, dragging and dropping it into the unity ok here is our script now select our character and drag and drop the con coin collection to the robot oh sorry here is some error Okay, uh, we are getting uh, some error. 
Yeah. Uh, see here the spelling of vector is wrong. Uh, now it's right. So let's go back. Mm, let it compile the action. Now just drag and drop the coin collector to the script. Okay, that's done. Now uh, to the coin, we have to add a tag. Uh, what is tag? Uh, I will tell you in a while. So just to uh, make a tag for the coin in the spectre window here, we are getting a tab. So just click on this and add a tag. Uh, well, I have already created. Let me create this. Yeah. So how to create a tag? Just to click on this plus sign and just give it a name as coin coin destroy and save it now select your coin now give it a tag of coin destroy <coughs> now uh, our coin is ready our controller in the con character uh, animation animator in the character animator uh, uncheck the apply root motion because we have already applied the motion to the script file so we don't have to need this so let's uh, check our character whether it's correct in the coin or not yeah it's collecting the coin that's it okay uh, we have to change a little bit for the character controller okay. in the character controller uh, give it a, a y of 1 and radius of 0 0.0 0 0.2 okay that's done now make a little bit more coins so to make the coin just right click on the coin duplicate it uh, make 2-3 coins okay now just position them give it to it to now give it minus 2 that's it. Uh, let's check whether it's collecting the coins or not. Yeah, it's collecting the coin. Okay, that's looking fine. So what you have to do? Now we have to add scores so that when the robot is collecting the coin, uh, its score must be displayed. So to add the score <coughs> in the hierarchy, uh, just right click and select UI. And in the UI, select text. Here, uh, we have selected the text. Now, in the spectre window, uh, here we are getting a new text. So, just rename it to score. Okay, uh, give it a font size of 30 and font size to bold. Now, uh, we have to uh, give it a position for the text. So, to check where the uh, because here we are not seeing the text so just double click on the text yeah here we are seeing our text so uh, if you okay now but uh, we are not seeing any thing written on, the, on that so in the paragraph window in the paragraph there we, uh, we got horizontal overflow and vertical overflow so just select uh, both of them to overflow now here we are we can see our text is displaying uh, we can give it a color so just to give it the color select color and give it a white color okay and uh, position it to, to uh, okay uh, that's uh, on the top right okay uh, our score window is done now what you have to do select our robot see here in the coin controller we are having a score underscore point and it's uh, empty so what we have to do select our text and just drag and drop it to the score point now let's check whether it's working or not yeah our score is increasing Okay, uh, the that's done. Now let's move on to a coin collector script. See, 
here in the script uh, we have defined two variables uh, first variable is coin collector and the second variable is score point now uh, here we have created a function uh, the function name is on control on controller collider head means uh, whenever object will collide to something then uh, there is a call for this function okay now in the function uh, we have created a if statement if head dot game object dot compare tag coin destroy yeah. uh, as i have told you that i have created a tag here that is coin destroy tag uh, now the reason for creating this tag is uh, if you are not displaying here the compare tag uh, the object uh, if the robot will hit to any object that object will get destroyed means uh, if you are not giving the tag on the coin i mean we are simply untagging it then uh, our uh, ramp will also be getting destroyed so uh, to keep our ramp remain in the scene uh, we have to give a tag to our coin okay so the condition is if hit dot game object dot compare tag coin destroy means uh, as the robot hit an object whose tag is coin destroy uh, that object will get destroyed and uh, our coin collector uh, here our coin collector will be increased okay? and then we are just displaying the score on the window screen so uh, here, the, here is our script completed hope you guys enjoyed the series please give it a like and don't forget to share and for more tutorials please subscribe our channel and if you are facing any issue in the game creation make sure to comment down below or you can join our facebook group link in the description thank you